Here is a right angled triangle because this angle is 90 degrees. Suppose this is triangle ABC. Side A could be called the altitude and side B the base of the triangle. It is important to note that the base and altitude are interchangeable terms, so side A could also be the base. More importantly, the side opposite to the right angle is always the hypotenuse. Here is the statement for the Pythagorean theorem. I'm sure we've all read it once, so I'll skip over it, for now at least. The formula states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's take an example. Side A is 5 and side B 12. I need to know the value of side C. I'll put the values in the formula. That gives me 5 squared plus 12 squared is C squared. Now, any number raised to a square is just that number multiplied by itself. So I get 5 into 5 plus 12 into 12 equals C squared. If you recall the rule of Bodmus or PEMDAS, Multiplication comes in before addition or exponents before addition. So I'll do multiplication first and get 25 plus 144 equals c squared. That's 169 equals c squared. I'll add a square root to both sides and the square on c will get canceled with the square root since a number square is the opposite of its square root. And root 169 is 13. An important thing to note is that when a root is opened, it results in either a positive or a negative value. Sides of a triangle are usually measured in distance such as meters or centimeters, and distance can't be negative, so I'll only write the positive value. Notice how the base was 12, and the hypotenuse came out to be 13, which is really close. That brings us to a trick. Suppose I didn't know the value of root 169. No normal person does. I could have added 1 to the base, which was 12, and I would have gotten 13. I would have squared 13 and gotten 169, and that would have been my answer. It's the same for the other Pythagorean pairs as well. If you add 1 or 2 to side B, you'll get the hypotenuse. In the same way, if you remove 1 or 2 from the hypotenuse, you get the bigger side of the other two sides. It's only for side A, which is different, so I'd have to actually remember squares. A good tip would be to learn the squares of the first 10 numbers. During my entire high school, I've only used the Pythagorean pairs that are highlighted in cyan, so learning those saved me a lot of time. Now, coming back to the statements, the Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides.